Whatever happened to Steve Gutenberg? <laughs> I don't have a joke for that. I'm just really curious. <laughs> Hi, I'm Alexandra Melrose. I'm an actor. My claim to fame, or most recent claim to fame, is that I was in the national tour of Les Mis. <laughs> I dreamed a dream in time gone by when hope was high and life worth living. I dreamed that love would never die. I don't remember anything else. That wasn't even my part. I don't remember that score at all. It was a couple years ago. It's like church, right? You go in, you do it, and you go home. You know, but if you tried to do the Apostles' Creed on your own, would you really know how to start that? I'm married. I have a wonderful husband. We have a great marriage. Uh, we had a terrible wedding, however. My dress was a disaster. My minister quit. And my wedding planner died. Seriously, he drowned in the Red Sea. It's okay, I'm over it. It was like 12 years ago. My husband's right, he washes dishes, ladies. Seriously, because he understands that women have fought long and hard to get out of the kitchen, to become major presidents of major corporations, to become doctors and lawyers, not to be sitting all day scraping food grease off of heavy, hard, anodized pans, but mostly because I don't want to. <laughs> he travels a lot for business, so I travel a lot for his business. Actually, I just got back from New York. And I got off the plane and I really had to pee, right? So I went into the bathroom and I put the seat protector down and I turned around to unbutton my jeans and the toilet flushed and took the seat protector. So I was like, okay, no problem. Turn around, put the seat protector down, turn back around, unzip my jeans, toilet flushes, take the seat protector. Okay, one more time. Seat protector, toilet, turn around, gone. Three times. I'm like, all right, now I have decisions to make, okay? Am I gonna sit here and play musical chairs with this automatic toilet flusher? Or am I going to drop my pants and then do that bare ass shuffle, you know, around to make sure that I could actually make it? I was just really happy that I made it. I was so excited. I took a marker out of my bag and I wrote stoked across the stall door. <laughs> So excited I got to pee. <laughs> My husband and I were in Toronto a little while ago and I bought a book. Uh-oh. I bought a book. <laughs> top 10 things to do in Toronto. Okay, you guys have this? Three of the top 10 things are not in Toronto. Okay? One is Niagara Falls, but just two hours away. Okay, the other is the Stratford Festival, two and a half hours away, another direction. The third is the Toronto Islands. Now, admittedly, those are only 10 minutes away, but you have to take a boat to get there, so I'm disqualifying them. All right? Which leaves seven things to do in this city. Okay? One, the Canadian Museum. Okay. Second, the Hockey Museum. You're in Canada. It's obligatory. <laughs> third. Um, oh, what was the third one? Can I, oh, the CN Tower. Awesome. Yes. Great. Thank you. I've been to Seattle. <laughs> the fourth one was this Child Expo Center, which is just a breeding ground for disease, and I don't have kids. So now we're down to three. Three things to do in Toronto, okay? There's this beautiful market, it's gorgeous. There's lots of fresh food, tons of it, it's amazing. I'm a tourist, what the hell am I gonna do with a 16 ounce porterhouse steak? It's raw, how am I gonna cook that? The second, there's a, a beautiful castle up on a hill that the guy who, did, who brought electricity to Canada built. He spent millions of dollars on this about 1914. And then they discovered alternating current. He lost everything. This is really just a cautionary tale about how not to spend your money. 
And then there's my favorite, the shoe museum. I was there for 10 days. There's only so many times you can go to the shoe museum. Okay, there just haven't been that many advances in ancient Egyptian funereal footwear or slippers from the 1400s or shoes Judy Garland wore. Oh. I even went on TripAdvisor to find out things to do in Toronto, okay? And they actually list the water treatment facility as a point of interest. Okay, there was nothing to do in this town. But if you see Steve Gutenberg, just tell him I have this great idea for Belize Academy 8, okay? There's this awesome shoe museum. Thank you, that's my time.